Having noted the background information that on two occasions Moshe raised the issue of his speech impediment, fr- the first in Perek Dalad with respect to his mission to Bnei Yisrael, and a second time in Perek Vav upon being given instructions to go to Paro. We now turn to the actual Sicha text that focuses upon Hashem's response to the assertion that Moshe made that he was unfit to carry out the mission. In Pasuk Bet, HaKadosh Baruch Hu informs Moshe that Atta Tudaber Kol Asher You will Tudaber, convey information, speak, all that I will command you, and Aharon will convey that information to Paro. Rashi quotes the heading Atta Tudaber, and has, as has been established, headings are important in terms of defining the direction that Rashi is taking. And Rashi explains, Pam Achat Kol Shlichut Ushlichut. You are to convey kol shlichut ushlichut, each and every shlichut, kefisha shamata mipi, as God says, you hear it from my mouth, metaphorically. You are to convey this information pam achat, just once. Whereas Aharon's role, va'aharon achicha, is to yamlitsenu, is to interpret it, the shlichut, possibly from Lashon HaKodesh to Egyptian. Vyatimenu beozne paro, and explain it to paro. This basically is the commentary that Rashi provides to the words ata to daber. In effect, Rashi is creating a distinction between the chain of command mentioned earlier with respect to Bnei Yisrael and that with respect to paro. With Bnei Yisrael, it went from Hakadosh Baruch Hu to Moshe, from Moshe to Aharon, from Aharon to the people. In his commentary to the statement Atta to Daber, Rashi appears to change this sequence, that the sequence went from Hagaj Baruch to Moshe, Moshe to Aharon, and then both Moshe and Aharon communicated the Shlichut to Paro. Moshe Pam Achat, one time, whereas Aharon had the responsibility of Yamlitsenu Vyati Menu, translation and explanation by Ozne Paro. The Chidush of Rashi is that Pharaoh received information from two sources. One, Moshe, two, Aharon. And that this uh, transmission protocol differed from the one mentioned in Shmot Perak 4, in which information went from Hakadosh Baruch Hu to Moshe, Moshe to Aharon, and Aharon conveyed the information to Bnei Yisrael. This reading of Paro as the recipient of the Atta to Daber can be justified on two counts. Firstly, if the transmission was a linear one, namely that the recipient of the Atataber was Aharon, and no change took place in the transmission protocol, which went from God to Moshe, Moshe to Aaron, Aaron to Paro, then it could be argued that the statement that says Aaron Achichi Daber El Paro is superfluous in light of the fact that this information has been previously established in Pasuk Aleph, where it states, which would imply that whatever Moshe needed to communicate with Paro was done through Aharon. Secondly, Pasuk Yud Shmot Perek 6 states very clearly that the literal reading of which is that both Moshe and Aharon spoke to Paro. On the basis of these two arguments, we are forced c- to conclude that the recipient of the Atta to Daber was not Aharon, but Paro. That in the communication with Paro, it went from Hakaj Baruch Hu to Moshe, Moshe to Aharon, and then both Moshe and Aharon communicated the Shlichut to Paro, Moshe one time, Aharon's role was a translator, and to provide explanation and clarification.